Hey everybody, welcome to Groovy Journey. Today we're going to tell you a little bit about Providence Canyon, also known as the Little Grand Canyon. It's located around Lumpkin, Georgia, and that's in South Georgia. Hey, we're Jason and Selena, and we're here to take you on our Groovy Journey. From beaches to waterfalls, mountains to music, we love to explore, find new places, and new things to do. We hope this encourages you to explore some of these places and try something out new. Life is a groovy journey. Enjoy every minute. All right, here we are at the Little Grand Canyon, also really known as Providence Canyon. Around here we call it the Little Grand Canyon because it looks like... The Grand Canyon. That's right, guys. Just on a smaller scale. It's way smaller. Maybe, because we've never been to the Grand Canyon, so this is huge to us. That it is. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of clay, red clay. It's beautiful, beautiful, breathtaking. We've got pictures, but you know, they don't always do it justice. Um, and there is camping available there. Not a whole lot of camping. There primitive is a campsite. I like, yeah, primitive camp down from the state park, I think, about the seven mile trail. There are two trails at the Little Grand Canyon. One is the perimeter loop, which is 2.1 miles. And it's not that bad. Um, you actually have to hike down, you hike down into the canyon, and you can walk all through the canyons and stuff. Providence Canyon is one of the Canyon Climbers Club's stamps. It's one of the places you got to go to get your stamp. Um, the 2.1 mile trail, you go down in the canyon and then it'll take you back up to the top of the canyon. And you pretty much walk around the outer rim of it and get the most beautiful views. Some of the most beautiful views you've ever seen. Just taking in the beauty of what this world has to offer. The outdoors is just beautiful, y'all. Like, look at the small things. It's beautiful. Um, it is. There, there's like a little creek at sometimes, not not even a creek, just a little trickle of water running down through there. As you know, I've said before, I'm a barefoot babe. So what I do, take off my shoes and do that hike. Flip-flops. <laughs> I was completely barefooted. It was amazing. It was so cool. Especially when there's water, I want to feel the water with my feet. So we done the two point mile hike. Oh gosh. Remember our boy at the end of that hike, though? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was about to give up. He was just, he was just as tired as whatever. I don't know. We're 500 yards from the vehicle, <laughs> and he wasn't going no more. But um, we did go back and take the, our kids another trip, and we did the seven-mile hike. Um, that one, you don't see as much of the canyon. It's more in the woods, and yeah. yeah. <clears throat> for real in the woods but we did it and none of they didn't complain about that at all they actually really enjoyed that trip and that was the longer hike yeah it was really fun and then we get back in there and we discover campground there's campsites there so you can do a walk-in hike there's no driving to it none at all so and you carry everything yeah, we decided we wanted to try that one time. I think we're over. <laughs> but we did it. We did it. We picked campsite number five. Um, it was off the beaten path. I mean, like, it was, you could see the trail if you, like, stepped to the side, but then there was kind of back in the woods, so you kind of had a little privacy. Mm -hmm. The rest of them were, like, right on the trail. And you walked down the trail and to your right. I had a little path that went like 50, 60 yards back in the woods. You get back there, big opening. Uh, what's the little fire? Fire ring. Fire ring in there and all. And yeah. Uh, we'll set up camp right here and throw some hammocks up. It was an amazing experience. <clears throat> it was great except for having to carry that stuff in because you got to carry your water. The water gets heavy. Yeah, it does. And we even took our little dog Gracie with us, which was pretty awesome. Uh, we ate the Mountain House, um, what you call it, dried food 
type thing of freeze dry <laughs> food. Freeze dry food. We had a breakfast skillet, and I don't remember what the other one was, but they were really good. The way we cooked it was really cool. Jason found this neat idea. We had played around with like nomadic stuff at one time and like had bug out bags. And we still got them, but we just don't play with it as much. And so tell him what you did. Mm, took a tuna can or chicken can and some uh, little camping cups with the arms that swing out and go around the side. and pull them out and you hold it and drink your coffee or whatever and three little tent stakes that you drive down in the ground to put, put keep your tent down put some alcohol in it and put a little stakes around it put my cup on top of it with the water and had alcohol in the bottom can and you lit it it just it cooks it fast. Good way to make grits. Yes, we did. We kind of did a little nomadic experience on the way. The night before we did this camping hike, we kind of pulled off somewhere off the beaten path and camped in the back of the truck. Um, what's not crazy about that? Huh. <laughs> We took the rain fly from the tent, put it over the truck, but it was cool. So I was freaking out because I hear all kinds of critters, and I'm like, we got to get out of here. So we drive down to Florence Marina, which is right down the road from uh, Providence Canyon, and we take a little nap in the truck, take a little bird bath in the sink, and Jason cooks us grits. Grits! on this alcohol stove like it gets so hot it boils the water enough to make grits we had grits and coffee on the lake at florence marina and it was a cool day because there was a bass tournament and so all these bass fishermen were there and like we were there before the sun even come up oh yeah <laughs> and so when they took off to go fishing we were there and that was a really really neat experience would they get on the water real early. <laughs> the yeah. sun's not up. You're at 200, 250 horsepower. Mm -hmm. Engine's going whoom, right on by. Those bass fishermen are serious about their stuff. Um, we did take our hammocks when we did this walk-in hike. That was cool. And we had, we, well, see, the thing is, we carried enough water to kind of bathe off with a little bit. Plus the water we had to drink, plus the water to make our food. So, but when we left, we had no water, so it wasn't quite as much carry. <laughs> we were out of water by morning. <laughs> uh, the only one that had any water was the dog, and it was just a little bit in the bowl. And uh, I did think about it, but I didn't do it. It was coming down to me or her. <laughs> so, and we did build a campfire there. It was neat. It was my first real primitive camping, well, out in the woods primitive camping experience. I have primitive camp before, just not out in the woods. I was around other people. Because that morning when we woke up, I'm laying in the tent, getting my wits about me, and I hear. I heard the hogs. <laughs> I freaked out. I was screaming, get away, get away, get away. Like trying to scare them away because wild hogs can be mean mamma jammas. <laughs> So we're like, that's it. We're packing up. We're out of here. So <laughs> she was ready to go. We were out of there in five minutes. <laughs> I don't. It wasn't seven miles into our campsite. No, that was only like three. Yeah, but we were on the mile seven mile hiking. trail. It was at the halfway point on yeah. the seven mile trail. Mm -hmm. So we're on our way back out, and oh, like I said, we have Gracie, our dog, with us, and. Uh, we hear hogs again and she's barking and I'm like freaking out because I don't want her to call attention to them but they're just, they did scurry away. I can't get out of them woods fast enough. And I even like hunting but up in the stand away from the hogs. Hogs can hurt you. They get mad enough. <laughs> well there's a bunch of them. I ain't. Uh -uh. So anyway, Providence Canyon State Park in Georgia. I'll put the link to it down below. It is part of the Georgia Canyon Climbers Club. I'll have a link to it down below, as always. If you haven't ever been there. Say that fast three times. <laughs> I don't think I can. 
but I can say Peter Piper pick a pick of pickled peppers. <laughs> uh, um, right. Oh, also, there's a brewery not too far from the Little Grand Canyon. Oh, yeah. oh. Omaha, Omaha Brewery Company, Brewing Company. That is a really cool place. It's really in the middle of nowhere too. And, That's and dog friendly. And it's not far from there. It's really neat, and they have some really good brew if you like that kind of thing. So if you ever want to see something, and you're in the south or southern region that's like the Grand Canyon, but you don't have the means to go that far, or the time from work, because yeah, we still have to work, then that's a cool place to go, the Little Grand Canyon, um, also known as Providence Canyon. Take the kids, check it out, enjoy nature. Yeah, it's pretty. Buy something from the little shop there, you know. I will say, as far as any tips on places to go and stuff around there, there's not a whole lot, except for, like I said, Florence Marina, if you wanted to go fishing, it's right, it's not too far from there, a few miles, and then Omaha Brewing Company, and they usually have a food truck, I think, on the weekends, so, but as far as anything near, nearby there, it's not, it's kind of out, so. Yeah, if you're out that way, you're either going to have a drink or you're going to the Little Grand Canyon. Or fishing. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and I think that's all we got on this one, and uh, we'll see you next time on Groovy Journey. Y'all have a great day.